Hello everybody and welcome, this is ZDS here, and by popular demand, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the application PKX with Pokemon XD Gale Darkness on the Dolphin emulator. So the first thing that we are going to do is, of course, we are going to have to download PKX, and I will show you real quick where to get that at. So in your browser, you just want to go ahead and open up a new tab. In this case, we're just going to go ahead and type in PKX. Go to the projectpokemon.org website, open up the application, and download the file right here. Once you have downloaded the file, you will receive an application that will look just like this. And the first thing that we're going to do with Pokemon XD is we're going to show you what I've got in my game so that you can see what I'm going to be editing soon. So we'll go into my game real quick. I'm inside of the base here. So I do have some Pokemon that I've already done some editing for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change up the moveset of some Pokemon that I have in my PC. So the first thing we're going to have to do to do that is we're going to close out of the game itself, go to the emulator, we're going to go to Tools, and go to Memory Card Manager. That will open up this window, where we will select our save file, and here it'll say Pokemon XD directly. We can either choose to delete the file to replace it, or to export as GCI. We're going to click Export to GCI, and in this folder, which is located in my documents, you can select any folder that you want, I have a folder labeled Pokemon XD. I'll double-click on that, and then I will name this file, any name you want, doesn't really matter. I go by numbers to show the progression of the save file and how many times I've used the application. Once you have done that, go ahead back into PKHex, go to File, go to Open. And in this case, it's already going to be in our, file, in our folder, because I've already done it before. Select your file, and we will begin the editing. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is, of course, you might want to change your Pokemon up. So let's go ahead and try that first. So I'm going to go here to my party first and select any of my six Pokemon I have. I'm going to right click on my Flareon, click view, and this will show my Flareon's nature, its level, its held item, which in this case is the Lucky Egg ability, friendship. The next one will show when it was met at, a Pokeball is what the Pokeball was used to hold it onto, and that it was a faithful encounter. Go to stats where you can change the stats at your leisure, you can change them to 31 in every stat, or you can do what I do and make sure the stat is manipulated to the hidden power that you want, in this case, I go with a Grass-type Hidden Power. Then over here in the Moves section, you can select any of the moves. When you select the drop-down menu, it will show you all the moves laid out in green. These are the moves that the Pokemon can naturally learn in the game. Every move highlighted, not highlighted in green is a move that the Pokemon cannot naturally learn. So for instance, in this case, you can see that my Flareon knows the move Brick Break. It does not learn the move Brick Break naturally in any, in any game, but what we will do is we will change it to Super Power, because it does get superpower in a other game. So next what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to highlight over the Pokemon that you've selected, right click and click set. That will make sure that any changes you made to the Pokemon will be saved to the Pokemon and you don't have to do it over again. So next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do something similar, uh, simple for Pokemon XD specifically, and that is how to change the shadow Pokemon status, which is really easy. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to select Carvana here, which is a shadow Pokemon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change its nature to mild so that it boosts its special attack stat. I'm going to click the friendship button to max its friendship out. I'm going to change its held item to the lucky egg so that it gains extra experience. Next, I'm going to go to the stat matrix. I'm going to turn every stat to 31. And give it maximum special attack. 252 in special attack. There we go and 252 in speed. Next, I'm going to change this in power type to fighting, which will automatically alter the, um, oops, I clicked random IVs. One second, one second. Oops, okay. 252, zero. Come on, zero, there we go. 252. Okay, so I'm going to click fighting because it's the best hidden power to use and it will automatically change the IVs to match that. Next, we're going to go to Move Pool, in which case I'm going to teach it Waterfall, which it can naturally learn. Crunch, which it can't normally learn until a higher level. Ice Beam, which it can learn by TM Machine. And finally, Hidden Power, which it can also learn by TM Machine. Next, you're going to click the up, up UPS button here. This is how many PowerPoint ups you have used on your Pokemon's moves. Max is three. You'll go ahead and click where it says ups, and it'll turn all of them to max of three. Next is the crucial part with Pokemon Exile Darkness, changing the shadow Pokemon status to be have their shadow meter as low as possible. In which case, we're going to click this little button that says shadow, then we're going to click it again, and that will drop its heart gauge to zero. Do not manually change the heart gauge to zero. Tap the shadow icon instead, that will do much better. What this will do is it'll make it to where Carvana's 
heart can be unlocked, which is the lowest level of the shadowness, so you don't have to use herbs on it or go running around for it for an hour. Next, we're going to right click and click set. Now, before I go ahead and exit the menu, I'm going to go ahead over to the save option. Here we have a couple of different options, save box data plus plus, verify checksums, verify all PKMS, and export backup. These are file types I do not use, I don't know how to use them, they're not really essential for anything that you're going to do in the game. Next we have this section called block data, items, and trainer info. In trainer info, you can do something cool. You can max out your money, which we'll do right there. You can also change your name and your trainer ID and SID, but I do not recommend doing that as it can cause problems in game. Next, we're going to go to the item section, in which case we see here I've already altered some of my items. We have 99, 999 floral stores, max elixirs, max revives, PP maxes, and rare candies. I also can go to the Pokeballs, where I have 986 luxury balls, 999 master balls. Next to the TMs, I have 995 of every single TM in the game. As well as 995 of every, uh, uh, every berry in the game. Next, we can go to medicine, where we can give ourselves a max of the vivid incense, which is the mess... The incense that decreases the shadow gauge the greatest. And then we have items in our PC, or our battle CDs rather, where we have not progressed in the story far enough to do that. But once you have progressed in the story far enough to do that, which is when you get to Fennec City, you can go ahead and select this and select Give All to give yourself all of the battle discs. Next, we're going to save, and we are done with editing for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to File. We're going to go to Export SAV. It should open the... Uh, folder that contained the previous file. If it does not, just go ahead through your documents and search for the file. Change the drop-down menu from all files to save 3xd. And we're just going to click the number 9 so that it's the ninth file I've done, and it'll automatically add the .gcin to the file. Go ahead and click enter, and your save has been exported. Next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over to the GameCube Memory Manager and click delete save file. Make sure you are certain that you have saved the file before you do this, because unlike most files on your computer, when you delete this file, it does not go in your recycling bin. It is just gone forever. So please be sure to back up your file before you do this. If you follow the tutorial so far, you'll have no issue with this one forever, so let's go ahead and continue onwards. We're going to go ahead and click delete. It'll say if you want to delete it. It'll take a few seconds to delete the file. There we go. Now we're going to go to import. Now I'm going to open up the Pokemon XD file and click on the 9 file we just made, and boom, there we go. Next, we're going to X out of the emulator, memory card manager, and open the game back up. Now, you notice that the, that the emulator crashed. I don't know if this is an is a, is a issue that everyone will have, but it is an issue that I personally have when I've already used PKX and Pokemon Field Darkness. Don't worry, you just have to reopen the file and everything should be good as new, if you do have that issue. If that is a persistent issue for you and you want to get it cleared up, I'd suggest going to the forums of, of Dolphin to see if you can file in a report there. Personally, I don't know what goes on and why it does that. Now, for the sake of speeding this up just a little bit more, we're going to go to our normal speed and go to unlimited so that we have unlimited speed here. And I'm going to go to my menu, go to my Flareon, and you can see it now has superpower here. You can see I do have 99 of every item that I showed earlier. And most importantly, I have 999,999,999 poke dollars. Next thing we're going to do is I'm just going to show you the Cravana we altered. And you'll see right here, it says heart gauge to the door to its heart is about to unlock, undo the final lock. When the heart gauge is blinking like this, you can take it to either the relic statue in, Fenix, in uh, Agate City, Agate Village, or you can take it to the Pokemon Purifier in your hometown. Anyway, guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. Please let me know if I missed anything or if you want any more tutorials like this. Please give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel to see more content like this in the future. I post videos every single day. And until next time, this has been ZDS. Thank you for fun one video at a time, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, everybody.